Recently, Secretary General of the Communist Party of China, Xi Jinping, was named a court leader at the Communist Party Central Committee meeting on October 27th, consolidating his power and authority further. Xi referenced the 1992 consensus three times in the meeting with Hong and twice referenced his opposition to Taiwan independence. He said that in mind uh, hindsight, the importance of the two party talks would be obvious. Hong reiterated the 1992 consensus and principle of striving for the com uh, commonalities of the One China principle while preserving the differences of meaning within it to promote a systematic cross-strait negotiations. Hong also referenced peace negotiations to explore the possibility of using a peace agreement to replace the hostility between the two sides. On November 1st, KMT Chair Hong Shuju and Chinese Communist Party leader Xi Jinping commenced the two-party talks with handshakes and smiles in Beijing. This is the first meeting since the change of administration in Taiwan. Xi led Central Committee Policy Research Center Director Wang Huning, General Office of the Chinese Communist Party's Central Committee Director Li Zhanshu, and Deputy Director Ding Xuexiang, Taiwan Affairs Office Minister Jiang Zhijun, and Vice Minister Chen Yuanfeng, and Chinese State Councillor Yang Jieqi. Hong led a team including KMT Vice Chair Steve Zhan, Jason Hu, and other KMT officials. In his opening remarks before the actual closed-door meeting, Xi referenced the 1992 consensus three times and twice reiterated his opposition to Taiwan independence. Xi said that the two parties had made contributions to peace across the strait since 2005 and had increased the frequency of discussion with Taiwan. They did not touch on political issues but were more concerned with the common fate of the two sides, closely following the Chinese people's democratic revival and common will as an irresistible historic trend. In her address, Hong stressed that the Kuomintang wanted to use the peace platform to oppose Taiwan independence. She referenced the political basis of the 1992 consensus as striving for the commonalities of the One China principle while preserving the differences of meaning within it. Hong also said that currently there was an impasse in official communication channels between the two sides. Thus, the Kuomintang is duty-bound to assist the people through the communication mechanism between the Kuomintang and the communist parties to solve the problem. During the meeting, Hong used a new technical interpretation to reference the One China different interpretations. She also brought out the concept of a peace agreement to resolve doubts, but it remains to be seen how committed the KMT itself is to this.